There have been several explosions near a military airbase in Russian-controlled Crimea. Local authorities say one person was killed and five injured in the blast. Well, for more on for more on this, let's bring in John Hendren, who is in the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv. John, what more do we know about these explosions in Crimea? Well, it's something of a mystery. Um, Ukraine says that it is not responsible for those explosions. Russia says that they were an accident, that uh, munitions exploded. But it was a series of explosions. By one report, more than a dozen explosions. So one munition dump would have had to set off many more if that were the case. Uh, Ukrainian authorities suggest it might have been the work of saboteurs. And that's interesting because you, uh, Crimea was annexed by Russia in 2014. It's been many years. There has not been fighting there recently because it is so firmly in Russian control. So it would be something of an unusual event if Ukraine were to have shelled it. Uh, by all accounts, those explosions happened without any kind of uh, sound of a missile strike that occurred beforehand or anything. So it, it would either be what the Russians say it is, an explosion at a munition site, or the act of saboteurs, as the Ukrainians say. But in any case, it's something of a mystery in an area where there is not really ongoing fighting in a solidly controlled uh, Russian-controlled uh, area. We also have some news on the Zaporizhia nuclear plant, which is in an area of active fighting uh, in, in the southern part of Ukraine. Uh, I talked to Petro Kotin. He's the head of Energo Atom, the company that controls that nuclear plant. He says they no longer really have control of it because it's under Russian authority, but the Ukrainian workers are still there. And he says there are four lines that connect that to the Ukrainian electrical grid. And he says the Russians have severed three of those four lines. He said it's, it is their intention, in his opinion, to cut the fourth line and then connect it to the Russian nuclear system in Crimea. He says if that happens, it will have to run on diesel generators. And if those diesel generators run out, there is the possibility of a meltdown along the lines of Chernobyl. He says that is a, an emergent situation, and he wants the International Atomic Energy Agency to go in there, and he wants it to be a demilitarized zone so that that plant can be operated safely, operated safely outside of the fire that has been going on there. Well, thank you very much for that update. That's John Hendren in Kiev for us.